When you joined the Oneida community, if you were lucky enough to join the Oneida community, I say that because they had a waiting list that stretched three times around the world. If you could join the Oneida community, you gave these people all your money and property. But if you chose to leave, and you could leave any time, the standard agreement was that you would get your property back minus what they thought was a fair deduction for your room and board while you were here. Well, even though you gave these people all of your property, the Oneida community was not interested in taking away people's small possessions, their family heirlooms, their small keepsakes and things like that. And it turned out that these people, who were almost all New Englanders, had a lot of stuff, a lot of trinkets from around the world. The reason for that was, in New England, almost every family had in it a young male who had sailed around the world about 10 times because it was the sailors from New England who were those people manning the clipper ships and the whalers in those days. So these people had a, a wealth of exotic items from all around the world. And the Oneida community gathered those together at one point and created this museum display in order to entertain its visitors and to educate the young. This room, they, we call it the vestibule, and this is the cabinet of curiosities. This room is like so many places in the mansion house in that it is almost exactly the same as it was in Oneida community days. So for example, here is a picture of the place in Oneida community days, a photograph, and if you examine it, you will actually see the same three pictures hanging on the wall in the same place since Oneida community days. Now, this cabinet, over 140 years old, contains a lot of the original Oneida community things, but descendants of the Oneida community have also been moving it around and putting in new things for all those years. Where I'm standing, there are a lot of the original items that the Oneida community put in, which happen to include a skein of raw silk that was imported from China that was used uh, to make their silk thread for the sewing machines. And a number of things in where I am also reflect the fact that the Oneida community people were very New England oriented in their sense of history. So for example, there happened to be no fewer than two pieces of old Ironsides on display here in this cabinet of curiosity.